Well, hello, crafters. Welcome to a new series playing modded Minecraft Subtech Ages. This is a progression mod pack for Minecraft where you start off as a caveman knowing little about the world and you work your way up to the point where you go into space. You have to learn things as you go. You have to discover new technologies. And there's a progression chart using the advancement system to discover new technologies, new tools, new crafting recipes. And I mean, literally, you start out with nothing even more than you usually start out with nothing in Minecraft. You can't even chop down a tree. You have to learn to chop down trees. I saw Run Dog playing and. It looked like a lot of fun. I watched three or four episodes of his series, and then I watched a couple of other people's first one or two series just to get an idea of what this was about, and I knew I had to play this game. It just looks like just an incredible, incredible amount of fun. Now, there's a lot to learn. There's a lot that is unknown. There's a lot to figure out, but it all starts with a brand new world. So we'll create a new world, and I used fantasynamegenerators.com to just scroll through and look for something that caught my attention, and what I saw was Chiron. That looked like a neat name to me. It actually was like Chiron 107 or something, but we're just going to call our world Chiron. We're going to stay in survival setting, and we're going to use the preset subtech version 2. I have no idea what that is, what that does. Something about humidity or something. I don't know. But hey, it's version 2. So we're going to use it. More world options. Generate structures on. World type realistic. That sounds like interestingness and fun. We're going to leave cheats off. I'm tempted to turn them on, but I'm going to leave them off and let the chips fall where they may no bonus chest because the pros don't do that i'm not a pro but that's how it works and with that let's i did name it right yes let's launch into our new world tip number eight the carrot in your inventory is where you can view your nutrition levels if you raise the nutrition levels high enough you'll get buffs let them drop too low and you'll have debuffs. So we have to eat enough, I guess. And I think that's on top of hunger. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but you have to eat different kinds of food. And it's not just about whether or not you're hungry. If you don't eat enough of meat, you start losing strength or endurance or something. Ore doubling is available later on in the industrial stage. Well, that sounds interesting. I could use double ore. Wyla is, I don't know what Wyla is, but it's installed and waiting to be unlocked. Ooh, I'm getting excited. Open the advancements window to find out how to progress. Default key is L. Wyla and a map are not available from the beginning of the mod pack. They need to be unlocked. There are many blocks that are hidden until unlocked through progression. And I saw that. What, what happens is, is you'll pick something up and it'll tell you it's an unknown item. And you can't even like take it out of your hot bar or, any, or put it in a chest or anything. It just, if you try to do something with it, it just pops off on the ground. You're like, I don't know what that is. You throw it away. And so, and then you have to progress through the, the ages. And when you progress through ages and when you gain new technology, you learn what some of these things are. Be aware if you change a resource pack. Well, I'm not going to run any resource packs. I'm not running any. and I don't plan to add any, so I'm not going to worry about that. Multiplayer, not doing multiplayer. So that doesn't really apply. We don't really care about that. This information and change logs can be accessed again by pausing the game and opening the what's new icon on the right side of the screen. I hear a chicken. See water. So we're near water. That's probably a good thing. Okay. Now, one thing I do know is that we have to get that. This is plant fibers and we need those. 
because like I said, right now we can't even chop down a tree in order to chop down a tree. We have to get what we need first to make a flint pickaxe. What's that? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. So the only thing I have so far that I know what it is, is plant fibers. Now, it kind of looks, yeah, I'm going to need to be somewhere near trees, though, because one thing is that you can get sticks from trees even if you can't chop them down. And we're going to need some sticks. i got a lot of plant fibers. Ooh, I'm sorry, chicken. Okay. Now, if I break these, yeah, see, I got a stick there. Okay, and that, that stick was on the ground, and I got that stick too. That was cool. Okay, and let's let's take a look at the tech tree. So, Subtech Ages to Age Tutorial. Welcome to Subtech Ages. To complete the tutorial, complete the advancement to craft a work stump to move into Age Zero. So I'm not even in Age Zero yet. I'm just in Age Tutorial, and we're gonna have to chop down a tree. So, because the caveman hates trees, in order to do that, we're going to have to create a flinch hatchet. In order to do that, we have to have flint. In order to do that, we have to have a mesh. Flint won't drop from breaking gravel. Use the grass fiber mesh in a crafting grid with gravel to obtain flint consistently. And then we got a fibrous diet. We already got that one. To get started, you need to collect Plant fibers from breaking tall grass. Craft three together to get plant twine. Sticks can be found on the floor or by trimming some leaves. So there's usually gravel by water. Or I rather, I should say that usually by water is where you find gravel. There's a little bit. That's a strong current. Oh, and here's a rock. We want to collect rocks too. I'm going to keep along the water's edge here in hopes of finding some more gravel. Now, usually by now, I've already killed a couple of sheep, but there's really no point in doing that now because. From what I understand, making a bed is like really hard. And I mean, I guess I could kill the sheep and get their meat anyways, but I don't have an immediate purpose to use the sheep. So I'm going to hold off on that. I'm not going to just kill them just to kill them. Okay. Now this is cool too. There's all these little farm patches and some of them have stuff in them. And if you left, I mean, sorry, if you right click them, you just harvest whatever's in there and it leave the plant. They're still growing. None of these are ready yet. Oh, and here's some weed. Is that, yeah, that wheat's ready. I think I know what wheat is probably. Wheat, unfamiliar item. I don't know what the seeds are. Carrots, I know what those are. Rocks, gravel, 
Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Bunch of stuff. I don't know what it is. Ugh. I'm not a very smart caveman. The world is a mystery, I tell you. A mystery. It's all fiber and gravel. Fiber and gravel. Ooh, a bear. Don't follow me, Mr. Bear. I didn't do it. Well, I've got some gravel. So, let's see. We need a mesh. And that needs two sticks and two plant twines. I don't think I've made plant twine yet. So, twine. W-I-N-E. Twine. Okay. So that makes plant twine. Okay, and then the mesh was two sticks and two plant twines. There. And now you put the mesh and the gravel, and you get flint. Look at that. Advancement. Mesh your flint. So, now we have flint. Left-click flint against a hard rock to create flake flint. Doing the same to flake flint will give you flake flint points. And we have a flint pickaxe, which I think we have to make the flint hatchet first, and then we can make a flint pickaxe. So, I, th I think I need to break the, I need some uh, hard stone, a hard stone surface. There's a cave down here. All right. So, left click. Hey, look at that. And there's the advancement, flint sharpening. I'm going to go ahead and break up about half of these flints. Okay, so now we want a hatchet. H-A-T-C-H. -H. Hatchet. And that's a stick, a flake flint. Ooh, that was spooky. And a plant twine. Now we have a hatchet. It's too dangerous to go alone. I agree. I believe I will travel with my friend, the hatchet. Oh, F3. There's no coordinates, there's no direction, nothing. We know that that's west because we can see the sun. But that's the best we've got. That's all we've got going for us here. Um, there are a few different kinds of trees. I'm a little nervous about chopping this one down because I don't know what it wa is, and that might mean that I don't know what it is. That one over there looks like oak, so I'm going after that one. It's already starting to get dark. Cavemen hate tree! <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. Trees suck. Cavemen rock. Cavemen rule. Trees drool. Oh, man. So I wanted to stay over by the water so I could easily drill into the side of the bank.
here's another. Ooh, potatoes. And it's getting dark. And dark is dangerous in Sevtac. Mobs will kill you dead. So, L. Okay, here we go. We need to make a chopping block. And then, no crafting tables yet. Use a work stump instead to craft the items. Place them on the table in the correct pattern and use a crafting rock to right-click the recipe into existence. When you're finished, place the rock in its home. But first, I need to make a chopping block. Oh, I need to get into the hole. Oh, I don't have anything that I can chop stone with yet. This is getting scary. Okay, that's a little bigger. Okay, so I need to make a chopping block. <laughs> that was scary. Chopping block. Huh. If you use a piece of flint with it, you get two of them. Ooh. A horse powered chopping. Oh no, that's a horse fire. Use one stump, you get one. If you use a flint with it, you get two. I think I need two because you use the chopping block. Use a log to craft a chopping block. Place a log or a plank on the chopping block and use the axe to cut it into planks or sticks. So I need two because I need one to make the crafting bench, the work stump. That's what it is. Work stump. Work stump. So yeah, I need one for that. Okay. So put that and that, and I get two. And I put one of those here and I get a work stump. And now I have a work stump. Woohoo! Challenge complete. I'm stumped. So now I have a st work stump and I have a chopping block. So let's put our work stump right there in our chopping block right there and there we have it we've made it to age zero in the first day we didn't get eaten and we are ready to take on 
the world in Cephdeck ages. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Don't Call Me Sir, and I'll see you in the next episode.